I've been spending a lot more time in my home shop and I've discovered that uh, not having a bandsaw is pretty inconvenient. So I wanted to purchase a bandsaw, but my shop's pretty small. So I didn't really want to get a huge bandsaw like this 14 inch Rikon that we've had in the shop, but I do like a lot of its features. So when I was looking at bandsaws, I found this 10 inch Rikon. Uh, I ordered it, it showed up at my door. Uh, I'm lucky enough that my wife found it. So pretty excited about that. And I thought I'd bring it in here and uh, we can unbox it together and show you some of the features that it has and why I picked this particular bandsaw. So let's get started. All right, I've got the bandsaw assembled. It was pretty easy. I just need to attach the top and a little assembly on the fence, but that was pretty much it. Uh, we'll have to do a little fine tuning uh, once I get it going, but I think it's ready to, to try out. But let's take a look at some of the features that this one has. It's a, a little bit more of an upgrade to other um, bandsaws um, of this size. And, and as you look at it, I don't think we need to take a DNA test to see who the daddy is here. It's definitely a scaled down version of our 14 inch here that we have in the shop. But um, some of the features that I like about this one is it does have a cast iron flywheel in here. A lot of the cheaper models are gonna have aluminum flywheels. It's just gonna be a little bit heavier duty, um, give you a little bit more momentum and uh, maybe less vibration. So you're gonna get a little bit smoother of a cut that way. Uh, it does have a cast iron top, which is really nice. Uh, I really like that feature. The fence on this model um, is an upgrade from a lot of the other fences that I've seen. Uh, you take it off, flip it down here. Then when you're making thinner cuts, you can get right up close to the blade and still have that blade guard down. The other thing I like about the Rikon tools is that you take this off and hang it right there, keep it out of the way so it's not always on the table when, you're, when you don't need the fence. Um, a lot of the found out that um, on the Rikon models, it's a really cool feature are the uh, bearings. They're all toolless, so they're spring loaded. You don't need an Allen wrench. You can adjust them, get them up close and just lock them down. So that's nice that a lot of the, the um, knobs on here are all toolless. Same thing back here for adjusting the, the fence up and down. It's got a nice knob, get it where you want it, lock it in place. Uh, one of the other models I looked at, it doesn't have a, the, the locking, the tensioning bar in the back. It just has the knob. This one does have the tensioning bar. So I find that's really convenient that I can detension the blade when I need to and just lock it in place. I don't have to come up to the knob every time and loosen it and tighten it that way. So this one does have half horsepower motor. A lot of the ones, I, the other ones that I saw that were cheaper had only a third of a horsepower. So that's going to give me a little bit more power on the things that I want to do. So um, it is a smaller bandsaw, but for the things that I'm going to do in my shop, I'm not going to do a lot of heavy uh, um, resawing. Um, real thick boards, so uh, I think we're ready to turn it on and try it out. So let's get started. Well, at first blush, it works really well. Um, like I said, I needs a little fine tuning as a, when I get it home, but I'm excited to get this home in my own shop, introduce it to my family, and get started. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video tip, be sure to subscribe to the Woodsmith Shop channel. Every week, we're adding great woodworking tips and woodworking videos. 
All you have to do is hit the bell to be notified. Plus, you'll find project plans and downloads in the description below.